All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Honest to you, Akim, that are pushing out this truth all over the world. Okay, this is 2021, year of hastening. All right, what I have on the screen right here is um, what I have pulled up online etymology dictionary. And the word that we're looking up is normalcy. Okay, the CDC have new guidelines and rules for people that have been vaccinated. Okay, that have taken the jab. They can return back to normalcy. Okay, keep hearing this word normalcy. All right return back to normalcy okay all right been hearing it so much man it's, it's hard to pronounce man. <laughs> all right but look at check this out so i pulled it up on the online etymology dictionary okay and let's go ahead and get into the word normalcy all right so the word has been associated since 1920 with u.s president warren g harding who campaigned that year under the slogan return to normalcy Meaning pre-World War I conditions. Previously, normalcy was used mostly in the math mathematical sense and the word preferred by pursuers for a normal situation is norm norm normality. Normality. Okay, then let's let's click on normality real quick and I'll come back to this. Okay. So normality, character or state of being in accordance with rule or standard. Okay, so what's the rule? What's the standard? All right. What's the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, all right? And it's supposed to be prevention, but what the hell are they preventing, all right? They're controlling the disease, okay? All right, so again, character or state of being in accordance with rule or standard, all right? So let's go back to normalcy, okay? So you see how they, you know, it's breaking it down, how it was associated, okay, with the President Warren G., in 1920 all right and that was his slogan because you know when these presidents you know when when they uh when, when they're when they're selected all right to get up in there you know they all have some type of slogan like you know uh donald trump make america great again you know barack obama yes we can you know you know just just some examples all right so let's go ahead we're, we're gonna go ahead and continue on the word normal okay let's see Okay, normalcy. All right, being with within certain limits that define the range of normal functioning. All right, so so that's what they're painting to you, man. You know, you receive you receive the jab. Ultimately, the RFID chip, the mark of the beast. All right, you can return to normal functioning. You know, you could buy, you could sell, you know, you could do what you got to do. All right, because you've been uh, vaccinated, man. All right, again, returning to normalcy. Okay, and um. You know, brothers posted in the chat, all right, what's happening out there in Israel, okay? And I didn't want to, you know, get the video and, and, and uh, you know, put it on my channel because I'm pretty sure it would, it would be striked for mentioning that, man. But they're going through all out hell out there, all right? It's like a blackout, a media blackout, all right? And they're forcing, you know, this is what the lady was saying if I'm, you know, if, if I'm, uh, if I heard it correctly, you know, I got to watch it again, but she was saying how, you know, they're basically forcing them, you know, to take the jab and, you know, uh, they have, um, you know, those strips, those green, those green uh, bracelets, you know, around their around their hands, you know, the ones who have taken it. All right. And the ones who did not take it, of course, they're sending all their information to the authorities. And I remember doing a video on that a while ago. All right. And it's just increasing. You know, the Heavenly Father, man, hey, he's saving the best for last. All right. That's usually how it goes, man. You, you know, all these other countries. All right. Will implement something. All right. To their society. And it would end up coming here. OK. So that situation is going to lead to the mark of the beast, man. It's going to lead to, you know, the uh, the mandatory implementation of the RFID chip. All right. So we're we're very close, very close, man. All right. And how they're going to get you people is by dangling this normalcy in front of you man you know if you if you take this all right everything can return to normal you know it's, it's going to be some a form of peace and safety all right okay so check this out another one right here expecting this as a consequence of being usual or regular or common all right so let's go ahead and um you know i wanted to 
before I pull out some precepts, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and play this video. I'm gonna just play a little bit of it. All right, you can look up the video or I'll have it on the um, description. I don't wanna make the video too long. We're gonna get some scriptures. We're gonna get Revelations 13 and look up some more words. All right, but let's go ahead and get this. Now, this is where I'm at out here in Arizona, all right? Because it's already being talked about. You know, Esau is, you know, remember these devils are in Operation Warp Speed, all right? That's Revelations 12 and 12. You know, that's why you got to keep that watch. You got to keep your eyes, man, on these prophecies, measuring the times, like it says in 2nd Ezra, all right, 9. All right, you, you got to measure the times, man. You know, Esau, he's moving like a snake, all right? And when you're in the presence of a snake, you know, you, you're not... You know, you're supposed to be watchful. You're supposed to keep your eyes on that snake because that snake can strike you at any time. You know, you don't, you know, if you're not watching, man, hey, that snake can strike your ass, man. All right. So you got to keep, we got to keep watching. We got to stand upon our watch. Like it says in Habakkuk, the second chapter, because, you know, we are in that latter time, you know, and it is speaking. It's speaking right now. I'm about to play it. I'm going to just play a little bit of it. Now to the distribution of COVID vaccines and a glimpse into life after the shot. The CDC releasing new guidelines detailing what they recommend people can do once they get fully vaccinated. Tonight, our Ashley Paredes breaking down the guidance and hearing from Arizonans about this big step to normalcy. Ashley? Again, you know, the big step to normalcy. All right. And we broke and we broke it down. You know, um, you know, one of the presidents, man, they used it you know, for their slogan, man. So, you know, it all comes back around again, man. You know, it's the same, the same agenda, man. So let's keep playing it. The CDC guidelines are new and they tell us more about the effectiveness of the vaccine and it's bringing some hope to those who are fully vaccinated already. Arizonans getting a first look at what our next new normal will look like. It just gives you this sense of we're getting there. New guidance from the CDC stating people at least two weeks out from their final shot can visit with other fully vaccinated people indoors without masks or distancing. You can also visit with unvaccinated people from one other household if they are low risk for severe disease. The CDC says you can also skip quarantine and testing if you're exposed to someone who has COVID and you're not showing any symptoms. Dr. Shad Marvasti sharing his perspective. This is huge. Um, I think this uh, basically comes from accumulation of data from around the world, basically showing that uh, people who are vaccinated are very, very unlikely to um, be points of spread, of spreading the, uh, the virus. But vaccinated people still have to be careful. Health experts say they should. I'm going to stop. It. I'm going to stop it right there. You know, thumbs down for this video, man. You know, you devils, man. You know, hey, like like the scriptures say, you know, it's it's speaking. All right. You know, it's speaking. This is where we're at right now. All right. So let's go ahead and get some scriptures. Let me go back to the definition. All right. We're going to go to Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So let's go ahead and, um, you know, we're just, we're going to look this word up, Mark. We've done it plenty of times, but for edification's sake, you know, you people, you get tired of us talking about the same thing, but this is where we're at. You know, this is, you know, we're so close, you know, to these devils, man, you know, implementing this mandatory, man. And, and, you know, it seems like that's what's going on out there in Israel right now, you know, based off of, you know, what the lady was claiming, what she was talking about. All right. So we're so close, man, you know, and this is the last and final prophecy. So, yeah, this is going to be in our mouth all the time. All right. Whether you people like it or not, man. So Revelations 13 and 16. OK, let's go to the mark. All right, I'm going to play it. Strong's G 5480. Haragma. Haragma. OK, we say Karagma. You know, you saw I got to throw that extra on there. All right, so a stamp or imprinted mark, okay, of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand. Okay, so Esau, he's coming up with all this different technology. They also have, you know, these tattoos, man, all right, that they could tattoo on, tattoo on you, man. That's like a stamp, you know, like a mark. You know, that's why it says a stamp or a stamp and imprinted mark, all right? 
you know, they, they have the they have the tattoos now, man. They can imprint the tattoos on your body, man. All right. So this technology, man, it, it all leads to the mark of the beast, man. All right. It's all in the same the same field of the mark of the beast. All right. Which is that right sized grain RFID chip radio radio frequency identification. OK. All right. Let's keep getting some more. Um... OK, so I'm going to go to. All right, I'm going to go to Revelations 13 and 17. I'm going to pull out a couple of scriptures and we'll go ahead and end it there. All right. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark of the beast or the name of the beast or the number of his name again. So that's what this whole thing is about, man. All right. You're not going to be able to buy. You're not going to be able to sell. You know, right now we have these masks on. Okay. So you're not able to go into these stores without the mask. All right. And, you know, some states, you know, they're actually um, doing away with the whole mask mandate, which is the division you know, that silver war is being brewed up, all right? But with the RFID chip, you know, once they make that mandatory, okay, that's it, man. They're going to cut you off the grid. Everything is going to be digital, all right? This dollar is weak. It's, you know, it's it's fading away, man. You know, these nations, they're, they're you know, they're they're coming against it. You know, they're, they're freeing themselves for the independence of the dollar, all right? The Federal Reserve note, okay? So let's go to Revelations 14 and 9 and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand uh, Hold on real quick just So okay, hold on Let me bring that back I'm on the blue letter So lock here. I'm pulling it back up. Okay, here we go. So lock here for that. I'm on my other phone, but I'm actually going to switch and, um, you know, we're going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up on the blue letter on this phone. All right. All right, I want you guys to be able to just follow along. All right, so, so Revelations 13, well, actually 14, Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. That indignation, that's that righteous anger, all right? And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb, because the chariots of the Heavenly Father, the chariots are going to be present, all right? They're going to cover the sky, man. They're going to cover the heavens, all right? Okay, and that fire and that brimstone, that's, talk, that's those missiles, man, the ICBMs. You know, Joel, he saw the vision of it. John, he heard a number of them, all right? 200 million missiles, man, okay? That's what you're going to receive for taking this mark, okay? All right, let me go down to go down to 11. And the smoke of their torment, torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. See that? All right, so America is going to be destroyed. All right, which is Babylon the Great, man, and the smoke is literally gonna is, is gonna be around for a long time. The scripts say forever and ever. All right, meaning a very long time. Okay, because the heavenly Father is gonna blast this place off the face of the earth. All right, we're gonna go to Revelations 15 and and one. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. For in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast, man. Who is that? That's talking about the elect. All right. You know, Lord said he would keep us in the hour of temptation. You know, going to Psalms 91, the Lord would deliver us from the snare of the fowler. That fowler is Esau, man. All right. Okay. So gotten the victory over the beast and over his image. And over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. 
okay, and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High. You know, that's all I'm going to get on that. Yeah, so, you know, again, you know, victory over the beast, over this system, man, okay? All right, we're not going to bow down, you know, brothers, hey, we're preparing to be off grid right now, all right? Brothers are buying up their gear, you know? We're not going to conform to this system. We're not going to conform to normalcy, all right, under the guidelines of the CDC, man, okay, under these damn devils. All right, let's, we're going to get Revelation 16 and... 16 and 2, and the first went and poured out his veil upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the man which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worship his name, man. You see that, man? So those missiles, are right? That that noisome also, you know, referring to noise, you know, they're going to make, a you know, a lot of noise, man. Okay? All right, when that stuff touched down, man, hey, it's, it's going to be grievous. All right? Okay, so it says, noisome and grievous sore upon the man which had the mark of the beast and upon them that worship his name. All right. No, I'm going to go to, I'm just jumping around. I'm going to go to Revelations 19. Actually, we're going to go to Revelations 20 and 4. I'm going to go ahead and end it out with, with this one. Revelations 20 and 4. And I saw the thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. For the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with a Mashiach a thousand years, man. So that's the ultimate goal, all right? And the Lord said he's going to keep us from the hour of temptation anyway, okay? All right, you know, the elect, man, they're going to they're gonna get victory over the beast. It's written, all right? That's, that's, this is future prophecy, man. OK. All right. And we're staring right at it, man. You know, the door is open. We're looking right at it. You know, these devils, they could implement this, you know, any time. Look, what's, like, again, look what's going on out there in Israel. All right. OK, so I just wanted to, um, you know, do it, you know, pull out a couple of scriptures, you know, on this on this uh, normalcy. You know how it relates, you know, to the scriptures, man. And uh, you know what? There's one more. There's one more scripture I wanted to get. Before we close it out. All right. Yeah, I wanted to I wanted to get this. All right. Uh, First Thessalonians five and three. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. man. So that's what these devils are saying, you know, through this word normalcy, man. You know, it's a form of peace and safety. And the Heavenly Father said sudden destruction comes after that. So with that, I want to say all praise to you. How about you? I was shy. You know, again, uh, double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone. To the next video, I want to say shalom.